Hi there, welcome again. This is part three of a three-part series. If you missed the first two, go back and watch them first um, and then enjoy. Now I'm gonna try a darker teal. So we're gonna go with darker green. And again, I'm gonna mix it on the main plate instead of the mixing plate for that variegated color. See what color this one makes. Oh, that's a pretty color. That's really nice, that one. Oh, very, very pretty. We might do a stripey one with this one, I think. going to do something with that when I've finished with everything which will be interesting all right where's my stripies now do I want to, I've got two ones here one with uh, like a comb stripe and one with a flat stripe I'm going to go back to the comb because I like the the small thin lines that it makes and I'm not worrying about being too straight or too particular because being more natural and uh, organic makes everything look better in my thoughts more less like it's been made in a manufacturing warehouse i mean all right and rub a dub a dub three men in a tub three gender neutral people in a tub <laughs> Go. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ah, oh, that looks so pretty. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Ah, oh, so nice. That looks so cool. Very, very cool, very, very cool, very, very cool. Awesome texture on the background. Let's pop some of that light green on there and do a straight pickup of all of this. I can do this one on just a plain piece of paper because why not? Squishy, squishy, squish, squish. Main suggestion that I can make when you're just learning how to gel print is play. Just practice, just have fun. Try stuff out, don't be scared, it's just paper. And seriously, you don't have to use anything special. Just use the stuff that uh, you accidentally print on in at work even. Bring home the stuff from work. Or if you work from home, bring home, just, you know, move the stuff from your office into your art room. You don't have to use anything special. You don't have to buy special paper. Just reuse stuff you already have. And then you are also saving the planet because you're reusing stuff that would normally go in the bin. Love that. That is awesome. And the more you practice, the more you learn, and you might come up with something that's totally cool and makes you go, oh my God, I wish I had done that earlier. That looks so cool, I'm so I still got stuff on there. What else can I put on there? Hmm, let's, let's put a, a lighter blue on and see if we can pick up some of that other stuff. And I've got a little bit of that green on there too, so I can pick up that too. And you make a mess. But making a mess is part of the fun. And the more you do stuff, the less scared you get. And the more you do it, the less worried you are about messing up. And the more you do it, the less you think, I don't want to do it. I can't do it. I might mess up because you're just having fun and it doesn't matter if you mess up. And it doesn't matter if you 
ruin a piece of paper because none of it is precious. And it's, it seriously is just stuff that is going to end up in landfill one day. So you're saving things from landfill. You're saving things from being simply thrown away. And you're making the world a more beautiful place at the same time. That can't be a bad thing, can it? It cannot be a bad thing. The world needs more beauty. It needs more fun. It needs more love. That's nice and subtle, but I like that. That's interesting. A little boring, but it's nice. I like this side better because it's got, had more grunge on it to begin with. So it's got more texture and that sort of thing on it. Yeah, that side. When I am printing my gel prints and I'm using my eight by 10 gel plate, I always end up with these strips that don't have any paint on it. Now, the way that I use those up, once I've cut them off, I end up with all these little strips. And that's what I do with my 5x7 plate once I've finished my gel printing for the day. I end up with all this fun stuff on my 5x7 gel plate. And I grab one last colour. And I do one last pull but not with a single piece of paper. I do it with strips. The strips that have come off my larger prints after I've cut them up, cut them off. And I may have to do this, I don't know, two or three times, depending on how much grunge is on there. And basically I just lay my strips down on my grungy mix plate. Just press it all down really hard. And I can end up with the coolest stuff out of this. And of course, it's all completely unplanned because you just never know what's actually on those bits of paper. Ah! So look how cool that is! These make the most awesome collage strips. And I've still got a bunch of plant paint on there that I can do another strip off in a minute. So there we go. Thank you so much for sharing this one with me. I've had so much fun. And look at all this amazing collage paper I've played with. So some of this is gonna end up in my Etsy store. Not all of it, I don't always put everything in there because some of it is awesome. Some of it will might be printed over again. Some of it might just end up in the rubbish bin or the who knows. Some of it I turn into some of it I turn into um, envelopes. Some of it I turn into collages. Some of it I just look at and go, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Some of it I just print because I just enjoy the process so much. It is so much fun. And look how much you can make in literal, uh, what, how long have I spent here today? Half an hour, an hour? And I've made all of this beautiful paper. So just play. It's so much fun to play. And we'll see you next time.